Hello guys and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about a new version of the Epi Pen. So let's get things first. What is the Epi Pen? The Epi Pen is an adrenaline, adrenaline shot, like it looks like this. And you use it when you have an allergic re reaction to food, insect bites, or get stung by an insect for which you are allergic. So it slows down the allergic reaction with uh, synthetic adrenaline, and it slows down. So it slows down reaction, so you have more time to get to the hospital to get treatment, and it basically saves your life. So there are a few downsides, however, because it's expensive as hell. And with expensive, I mean 600 US dollars for a single tool pack. How much is that compared to when 10 years ago, 10 years ago a single pen would cost you 80 US dollars. So calculate it yourself. That is very expensive compared to when it was released and there is no actual reason for it because the product hasn't been changed and the substance in the product is about 10 US dollar cents. So, it's incredibly expensive. It has a short shelf life of only 18 months. One and a half year, that's what a set of pen lasts you, if you don't use them. If you use them, it lasts you less than that. So, like I said, if you don't use them, because they are single use only, you use the pen, you can throw it away. And if someone has, for example, a peanut allergy, calculate yourself how quickly the cost goes up. It will go up very quickly if you happen to live in an area where businesses be like, are oh, allergic people? They can resent some peanuts. They won't notice if we use peanuts in our food. Well, they do. They are able to die. And with an epi pen, they are able to save their own life, basically. But for that price, it's very expensive, especially if you don't have any healthcare. So now we are introducing the Z Zibby Pen. The Zibby Pen is a reusable pen designed by a team of South African researchers, which we create, which cre created this for the mean to be reusable with cheap cartridges. The pen costs about 80 US dollars and a cartridge costs you about 16 US dollars. So they are also aiming to make it customizable. So for people with thicker skin, thinner skin, longer needles, thinner needles, whatever you need, a pen that properly fits your hand and does deliver the right dose for you. Because the current EpiPen, it just delivers a single dose and that is it. Then you get the dose and it's over. You don't have control over how much the dose is or where the dose goes. You just insert it. The end. And they are even planning to give it a long term life. The shelf lifetime of about 5 years. Which is incredibly long. Especially compared to the current EpiPen. So there is quite some hope in it. Uh, you will find the sources used down below in the com in the comments now in the description as you as always. And uh, yes, have a look yourself. And in my mind, this is actually capable of being a very very useful thing. However, there are a few downsides. It's developed by a team of researchers and scientists. They are launching a fundraising round to gather the money to start up the company properly, to produce everything and look into, yes, having a consistent production time while keeping money to research more. So there is a downside in that because you might have heard the word Big Pharma before, not for me probably, but probably somewhere else. And the thing is, the owner of EpiPen is a really big pharmaceutical company 
and are, they are able to buy out this company instantly and freeze the project and buy all the rights to it so that nobody else can do it. If they can buy, get for a few million dollars, it's still no money to them because they make much more money with practices like that and other pr products than the EpiPen which they control in the same manner of way. It's actual capital, capitalism in a monopoly form which we cannot stop. So I really hope that the researchers are capable of continuing this research, continuing this product and keep it up. Because there is so much money and lives to be saved, especially for people that live in countries without help, without enforced healthcare, so to speak. Because I live in a country where uh, you have to have healthcare, otherwise the government will give you healthcare and they give you better deals. For us, an EpiPen with a single dose costs you about... Mm, what is it? I'm doing this out of the top of my head, so that's a rough estimate. I think include it in your healthcare plan, it's free. If you get it through the regulated government way, it costs you about 40 US dollars calculated, which is still pretty cheap, pretty cheap for your life, but you constantly have to buy new ones anyway. So that's a real downside. So there is hope for this. I hope it keeps going and let me know down below in the comments what you think of this, what your hopes are for it. Thank you for watching and consider subscribing and hitting that bell button, button to get notified of my uploads because YouTube is doing really weird stuff which you might know. Anyway, thank you for watching and see you guys next time again.